Shit is about to get real. Wheels are going on. Um, I was waiting for this moment for a very long time because it doesn't matter if you like mount a suspension on a car, the difference is not that big. But once you mount the wheels on the car, things are getting different and uh, let's go. Who does not love new rubber? And we have here brand new Michelin's for Andrews M5. 275-30-21 for the front and 285-30-21 for the rear. With performance wheels, that means very lightweight, as I told you already, the idea behind uh, this M5 competition is to be fast, to be mean, to be ridiculously loud. And in order to be fast, we need lightweight wheels. You're gonna laugh, but there are cars having a lot of power, running very, running very heavy wheels, and it takes a lot of power away. That means the lighter the wheels are, it doesn't matter that are like two or three kilos. The lighter the wheel, the more performance you have. Even with the like 800 horses car, when you run really heavy wheels, you're gonna feel it. It will take away like 40, 50, 60 horsepower, I don't know, but these ones have like eight, nine kilograms, but these ones have, dude. Anyway, the wheels are very lightweight and they are perfectly tailored for our project. So let's get them mounted. Looking forward. With these babies here. <laughs> wow, well, check this out. Now you're gonna basically know why this wheel. This is 11 by 21, 8 kilograms. Hey, hello, what's up there? It's time to go into the next chapter for Andrew's uh, M5 competition because the Aventuri intake just arrived and it gives me some goosebumps and it makes me really excited to uh, drive to the body shop and get them mounted. Because uh, with every step that we work on the car, we get closer to finish it and I'm actually very curious about uh, Andrew's reaction once he will see the car, once it's finished. Because he's got no idea, he told me just yesterday that uh, he didn't follow, he didn't follow any stories of mine on Instagram or uh, he didn't even follow the vlogs. So that for him it's gonna be a 100% surprise. Because uh, from the beginning he actually told me that he wants to uh, find a guy who is modifying his car 
just hand over the key, the money, and uh, he doesn't want to see any progress, no, no milestones, no steps in between, just once the car is done to see the final result. And what is better than starting the day in a 600 horses competition M5? Basically nothing, maybe the M8, but this car is sick, it gives me kind of a throwback to my M5, it sounds similar, it drives similar. The plan for the day is actually mounting the Aventura kit that gives it a little bit more of a power and the engine bay looks really good, looks stunning with this kit mounted on. Full carbon fiber, manufactured in UK, functional, it sounds good, it looks good, nevertheless it helps the car breathing, that means the turbos, the engine gets a little bit more oxygen, which should bring a little bit of extra power, like 15, 20 horses. I have no idea, but it sounds good, it looks good. It's for sure an upgrade. Well, just arrived at the body shop, that means we can go start it. guys let's have just a quick look wow that makes it look fantastic i mean unfortunately it does not have the engine cover in carbon fiber too but these pieces make it like look really unique not only this but he can also like listen to the whistle of uh, of the turbos which gives it a little bit more an extra touch of exclusiveness it's funny because i had one question from a uh, one of you guys on YouTube here, he was uh, sending a comment that may not be like 100% Andrew Stace because he's got more flashier cars, he put like gold on a Porsche or um, some psychedelic wrap with gold accents on his Hurricane, but I don't think and I don't share this opinion because I think Andrew likes unique cars that uh, kind of reflect his uh, personality and that stand out of the crowd and this car here like um, I modified it I think it has all the attributes that Andrew needs from a car and that's why I really believe you're gonna love not only the look but also the sound and also the power because now it's really fast with uh, the EQ tune from Gorilla Performance we managed to um, tune up the car up to 780 horses according to the data of uh, Gorilla Performance and uh, in addition to that also to uh, give it a little bit of extra boost with the wheels because they are more lightweight than the stock ones together with the uh, KW suspension which is also a big improvement compared to the stock one and yeah so far I'm really satisfied with the result because not only the project itself is awesome but also the logistics and um, the progress is is flawless it, everything went fine we didn't have any issues the wheels uh, arrived in time because the wheels we have mounted here are monoblock forged wheels which are basically manufactured bespoke for the customer and with perfect fitment for his car with um, desired finish which you can choose from Basically, you can choose the color of the wheels, if it's gloss, if it's matte, if it's brushed, if it's um, translucent or just clear coated. We have uh, the option to uh, choose from a big variety of uh, colors. They came in time as well together with the tires. I had a big issue with the tires 
or I thought it's gonna be a big issue with the tires because now it's many manufacturers stop production and it's kind of difficult to get hold of certain uh, dimensions like here we have like 21 inch with a um, performance tire the 4S Michelin and I was lucky to get hold of those as well so they came in time we could mount the wheels and the tires on the car together with um, the power with the AccuTune and um, the Aventuri stuff and well the car is basically finished so far there is one single thing that is missing and I have no idea why this happened because there is the carbon fiber body kit missing the diffuser and the lip and they were supposed to arrive like I think 10 days ago but I think due to this corona stuff and all the packages that are now sent all over the world something went wrong and uh, I still couldn't get hold of it but I think they're gonna arrive on Monday latest and then I'm done with the project once the diffuser and the lip are on the car car is basically ready it's finished and uh, we can meet Tate and check out if he's gonna like it or not so um, I'm looking forward to this moment stay tuned with us next episode is gonna be once the car is done and um, yeah thanks a lot for watching I hope you guys liked it and yeah stay safe bye